looking at my drip, looking at your drip. Whoa, mommy, look. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. And today, I just wanted to show you one little thing just before we get started with today's vlog. I think I've got a bit of an obsession with matching clothes at the minute because I've been going crazy with outfits for Aurora and Vanellope. I think it's because I've not been able to do it before, even though, like, Vanellope and Portia were kind of still small together they never did anything in Portia size the same as Vanellope's which was always got in but now I can do it it's just so good I've never been able to do it with two girls I've always been able to do it with Oscar and Alpha but never the two girls I think they maybe had like Christmas outfits every now and again where they've been the same when they, obviously when Portia was younger but apart from that I don't think there was many other occasions, but check this out. So they've got these dresses that match. They've got these two tops that match that they haven't worn yet. They've got these outfits that match, but Vanellope actually wore hers the other day and it's there ready to be hung up actually. And then I got them these leggings the other day. I bought them these shorts yesterday, which are just um, a set of three. And it was just £5. These were from Tesco's and you get like a navy blue, a white and a pink. And these leggings were so nice. You got a pink, you got these flowery ones and then just a white pair. Um, then Dave actually bought this dress for Aurora. And I seen it in Vanellope's size. So I went and got this yesterday as well. So they've got them. They've not worn them on yet either. And then they've got the Elsa tops which I'm glad I got them leggings because this top will go with probably the flower leggings or maybe the oh, mm, I'm not too sure actually maybe yeah they may they might can't make my mind up and then they've got like the Elsa but these are a bit wintery now so I don't think they'll be wearing them again and then they've got this but this dress has actually gone too small for Aurora now this because this was only nine to twelve months well I think it's too small for her and then obviously Vanellope's got the same and I've seen this dress that I got for Vanellope well we actually do it in Aurora size so I'm gonna get that one but yeah I think I'm getting like a little bit of an obsession with matching outfits for them too because the wardrobe is literally building up and building up but they're just so cute and the good thing is with like tops like this it, I can take this top and put it with maybe a pair of pink leggings because it's got pink in it. So I can mix and match stuff or maybe put that top with these shorts and then maybe wear these tops with these leggings. So you kind of get like more than just the outfit because you can mix and match them. And then obviously they've got the shorts so they could probably wear like the navy blue shorts with the white tops or... But yeah, and then they've got these... Um, Rainbow is my favourite colour, they've got them, so they'll go with a pair of probably the pink shorts, they'll look nice for them. But yeah, there's a couple of other things that I've seen in Tesco's that I want to get them. But I'm just trying to sort through her wardrobe now, because most of them, most of her stuff is jumpers, so I'm not too sure what's going to fit her out of this um, in the winter. And I just want to get rid of some stuff like this, I hate this now. Um, there's some like other tops that I don't really like anymore. And then there was this that Dave's mum got her for Christmas. She's not even worn this yet. So I might save this for Christmas time this year. It'll probably fit her then because it was a little bit too big. I'm not sure even what the size is. It says five, but it's massive. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you my collection. So I just had to show you that because, yeah. Anyway, I just need to hang this because... I want Dave to go back and buy Aurora this top. It's so cute. It came with a pair of shorts. In fact, I don't even know where the shorts are. Um, oh, in fact, I just am. So you put stuff on the bed. No, that's a dress that needs to go in the wash. You um, buy him stuff. Sorry, you iron, wash and iron stuff. And then Dave decides that he wants to just throw them on the floor. It does my head in. And I've also got a nice pile of iron in there that you can see I have been getting on top of it because it was like sky high the other day. I've done so much. The boy, I think every single top that the boys owned was on the pile. 
But anyway, we've managed to get all the boys' tops done. I'm not naked, by the way. I've got a t-shirt on. So anyway, I think Dave's going to take Aurora with him to the studio this morning with Oscar or Ralph. I'm not sure which one's going. And I'm going to be able to dust up. I'm going to be able to just sunbathe for a bit. I've not done um, my makeup today. I've done my eyebrows, done my eyes, but I've not put no foundation or anything on my face just because... I want to try and get some sun on my face and get some vitamin D. Anyway, I'm going to go upstairs. Obviously, I'm probably going to start dinner now, actually, because it's about half eleven. I might just get it prepared. I'm not too sure whether we're going to just make some sandwiches and then we're going to go to the beach. Um, maybe have a picnic over there. But we'll see. And there's a couple of things that I need to get on top of, like bills and stuff like that. I need to get all them sorted. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'm sure Dave will check in over at the studio. So, have fun. Okay, guys, we have come to the beach now. It is so hot today. I'm not cold. Um, I was going to get changed before I come out. Instead, I just brought a top one This one, just to throw over me because I put baby oil, baby oil on earlier. And then went to pull my bra, like, up. You know, like you do to lift yourself in place, and I, I, where I put my hands, I just had like two handprints of oil, so I had to um, just. What's that you know, In a minute, I'm just talking, um, so I had to just put a different top and over the top when I was walking down here, and then just uh, take it off. Anyway, we just while we're is lay here, she's literally bought a sun bed with her because. No, lie on the um, Let me see on the stones, but it just it's just so nice. It's so nice to chill no, down here and just relax and just there's nobody Let here. They're peaceful, you know, and there's no Let better scenery up. than just like the wildlife and then the water and then all oh, the kids are scared of getting in now because Dave told them that the leech is going to suck them up, hey. <laughs> which they're not. He thinks because he's found, they think because he's found one, like it's full of him. It's not. It would, you just put chocolate all over the tram. It wouldn't matter where you went, there would still be leeches in the water, even if you went to Black Pool Sea. I don't know whether any of you have seen, but Chloe shared a picture, I think she tagged me in it on Facebook, of Blackpool Beach. And since we've been on lockdown, it shows you like a before and after. And the waters at Blackpool now are almost like you're on a tropical island because it's that clear. It just it just goes to show like how much this lockdown is actually doing the country good. More good than like bad. But obviously not gonna say like that, is it? I just hope that it makes people realise that, you know, they need to look after look after the country more, look after the world, you know, the environment, take care of it and you know, put your rubbish in bins where it belongs and stuff like that. Just to keep places like that nice and make respect actually go into them. Don't but anyway, the kids are just gonna get in the water shortly and we've just had a picnic. Which was really oh, nice. But that's cold. Get off. Oh, and this oh, has oh, melted oh, like oh, nothing. Oh, you can't have that, it's like water. Oh, it's like oh, juice, eh? yeah. What's up? Oh, oh, you can't have it. Oh. oh no, have you seen it? It's all squishy. Where are you going? No, you can't have that. You need to eat your dinner. Oh. Don't give it out, it's like water. <laughs> it's a hard, no hey? It's a hard, no Just look, put it in the fridge when you get home, you'll still be able to eat it. I've not got it then, is that mine? Don't let her open it. <laughs> well, it'll still taste nice. It might taste better. It'll be a mashed up snicker. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking at a TikTok that Dave had done with Imogen. And um, oh, your snicker. it's so funny. I'll have to try and get Imogen to this insert clip. Well, not get, get Dave to insert a clip so you can see him. Saying that, she'll probably send it me to put on our channel. Oh, it'll be on Imogen. So if you want to go and check out Imogen's TikTok, um, I do have all the links in the description most of the time now. So definitely head over there. There's Porsches, Chloe's, Imogen's, and the Our Family one. If you want to head on over there and check some of the videos out that we've done, some of them are just hilarious. There's nothing funnier though than Imogen's that I put on yesterday. It was just so funny. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go and chill out, I'm gonna go and get some time and then go for one. You can watch the kids enjoy themselves. I've got them standing there and I feel like I've got them. Hold 
It's really cold. It's colder than yesterday. I'm gonna fall with this in my hand. I'm going to like two miles per hour. Not in the rest. Not even me. Oh my god. I made it guys. It's in a Porsche, I made it. I made it. My toes hurt, you know. I just like caught my toe on one of the rocks. That to seem fall. Okay guys, we are home now and the kids are just playing in the hot tub. I look so, so worn out, seriously, today the heat has been so bad that we literally cannot handle it. <laughs> it's not as bad now, it's later on in the evening, it's a little bit cooler, but it's still like real humid and warm, which is, it just feels so strange it being this hot at this time of year anyway. Anyway, as you can see, oh, you can't see because Vanellope's just put the towel over the camera. Um, the kids are in the hot tub with Chloe. Let's go get Chloe. Aurora's just loving life. Where's your duck? Where's your other duck? She's obsessed with that duck, oh, isn't she? Say hi, Mum. Hi, Baba. Hi. What you got, duck? All right, guys, I'm back over here at the studio and I'm about to end today's vlog. A little bit shorter than usual, but we tried to cram in as much as we could. Uh, we've been back to that place now numerous times. I think we're going to give it a rest for a couple of days and I head over to the studio tomorrow and make some homemade Play Doh for the kids and just change it up a little bit because that beach over there is getting to be slightly annoying. It's just walking all the way there, coming all the way back. There's nowhere to sit really. It's great for the kids, but uh, my ass can't sit on them pebbles, even though it is big. 
and blow mons like you, can, you just can't sit there so anyway i'm going to end today's vlog do not forget to smash the like button subscribe if you're not already make sure you click the notification bell it does nothing make sure you leave us a comment if you can and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day